Hi, my name is Tom Oliver and this is my gear. Yeah, I'm riding in uh, Hagloves Vasi Clothes. Uh, it's a Gore-Tex gear with good ventilation, good style. I like them a lot. The key feature in this Vasi Clothes is that they're very breathable. You have these long pockets or ventilation in the side so you can open them up, get like a nice airflow in when you hike up, and then you just zip it up and go for a ride. So they have plenty of ventilations. A lot of good pockets to put your gear in, cameras, GoPros and stuff you need. And uh, also you got uh, this very good, we call it protection for the crampons when you hike up. That, that I like. A good part with a good jacket is that you can adjust it. Like you can have this to fit it really good around your waist. Put it on if you are a smaller person and also let it up if you're a little bit bigger or if you like the style to be bigger. So that's really good. You can adjust all type of stuff on this jacket. Really light, but this material is, is really hard and you can have it for a long time. It will not break. And that's a really good thing from the environmental side of it. And we also have this new Gore-Tex that's more breathable, keeps you warmer and also breathe better than ever. Now over to the pants, and this is what I really, really like, it's that it is a bib. Bib means it goes all the way up. This is the best protection you can get from snow inside your pants. I really love it, I love those high pants. It feels free, you can move on, ski, ski freely, that's really, really important, I think. And then we have these really good pockets with good zippers, keeps the water outside, they are big. You can put your beacon in here. I love to have my beacon in the pocket. The Vasi pants have the same material as the jacket. We have the new Gore-Tex, really, really breathable. And uh, also this durable material that will last forever. Yeah, they will not break in the first time. That's really good. I always bring a, a mid layer when I get out, like I hike up, get up on the top and it's always get cold and you need like a lightweight, dura durable uh, mid layer jacket and this one is in synthetic as I said before, but still it's really really easy to pack in your backpack. Another thing I really like with the Hoglovs gear is that they have think of the environment when they do this stuff. This jacket is made by 50% uh, recycled materials so it's uh, yeah good for the environment or better for the environment and uh, still it's a really good jacket. Another thing I've noticed with this jacket is that the heat spreads really good around your body and that is because of the graphene. It's a material that's really good on spreading the heat all over the jacket. That's a really cool high-tech feature on this jacket I think. This is the Nengal mid-layer hood and for me it's one of the best jackets. It's made by recycled materials, it keeps, I'm really into the environmental stuff and this jacket is really smart, they have used recycled fishnets and it still is one of the best mid-layer jacket I ever had used, like it's stretchy, it's comfortable, it keeps me warm, it got it all. This is one of my really favorite Hoglev's gear is the barrier knee pant because you not always go on big hikes and here in Scandinavia it gets really really cold in the winter so this is uh, like a down mid layer pant that's so hot so nice and when you have it under it's so easy to zip it off when it gets too hot you just do like this and you get like a ventilation on the inside as well one of my absolute favorite clothes because you don't want to be cold on your ass when you're out riding. So this is my transceiver. The most important thing when you go outside of the piste skiing. And I have used shoes to use a Mammoth Barrybox S. It's the top of the line transceiver. It's really good search functions. You can have both digital and analog searching. And you also had a really good 
easy group test. But the best thing with a transceiver that is it's easy and you know how it works. So make sure to know how your transceiver works. Yes, so here we have my absolute favorite ski. Maybe because I have designed it and built it by myself. It's the CMD, the It's Stiff Ski. It's the perfect R Sweden riding ski, I would say. Like, it's good for a bit harder conditions. It's 106 in the center. It has a little pre-rocker. And uh, I think it's the perfect size. I can go in the park, I can go up doing uh, like hiking, I can ski POW, Swedish POW, and uh, yeah, it's, you never get bored of skiing on this ski. You're pretty lucky if you have got your hands on this ski because we are not no longer producing them, so keep them, ski forever. So the bindings I use is a uh, Look Pivot, uh, sponsored from Reine Barkered, thank you Reine. And I use this cool cast system because I really like my ski to work all over the mountain. So with the same binding as I can go skiing in the park, doing tricks, I can go and do hiking with. This is a really cool feature. You do like that, you switch the, the nose of the binding and you put on a DynaFit binding like that. Now I'm ready to hike. And this is, I think, important to, for me as, at least, to not have like a bunch of skis to go out to ride. I can use one ski for everything. It's uh, good for hiking, it's good for randonnée, and it's good for just skiing with my friends in the resort. One ski for everything. Why I like this system is because this is the look PH. It's the legendary bindings. They last forever. They never break. You feel like you have the best binding in the world when you ride, so you're very comfortable. At the same time, I can hike up and ski down. So it's the best of two worlds, if you ask me. So, to the goggles. Spectrum, based here in Ore. Swedish goggles with BU-based plastic, 64%, so it's a sustainable goggle. And uh, have the call size optics, really good high contrast lens, and perfect with the style matching to the Vasi clothes. And the name of this goggle from uh, Spectrum is Östra. Östra Ravin that we have back on me here, just over there. So, a really or goggle. A really cool feature on this uh, Spectrum goggle is the magnetic lens. So it's super easy to put off. Yep, so to the backpack. I have the Skrå 27 liter backpack. This backpack has many cool features. How to carry your skis, like you can carry your skis on the sides. That's how I like it. I put the skis on each side of the backpack, in here and in here. And then I have a strap on top of it to get the skis spreading down there. So when you hike up, you're, you're not like hitting your skis on every step. And uh, then you have the front big pocket where you can uh, have all your avalanche gear, your probe, your shovel, first aid kit. And always bring an extra ski strap. You never know when you need that. And uh, another good feature, I think, to get to the big pocket, after you get up, put your backpack down, you can open it from this side as well. I think that's really, really good. And I think it's important for me, as I'm a really messy guy, so it's good to like, easy to organize your thing. And also, don't make the backpacks too complicated. It should just fit on your back easy, bring your gear and it's stuff you don't want to think about. You just want it to work. And that's good with the Hagler's Skrå backpack. Yeah, I always ride with a helmet. I hit my head really hard a couple of times, so it's uh, really important to keep the head healthy. So I use a uh, head protection from Sweet, the Igniter MIPS. It's really good, the MIPS system is uh, top of the line 
And you also have this, this is what I'm really happy with this helmet because it's just magnet and stylish of course. You need a good style on your helmet, then you use it more often. So here we have the Kang poles, really nice, made of bamboo, lightweight, sustainable, recyclable and skiable. So here we have maybe the most important things when you go riding, the boots. And I use a Lupo 2 boot when I'm hiking or randonnée or ski touring. Uh, then you have like the walk mode and everything. I don't like the, the lightweight stuff. Therefore I have rebuilt my own uh, boot. This is like a perfect crossover between the Lupo boot and the Krypton Pro boot. So I have the Krypton 130 flex uh, cap with no walking mode, but I still can use the Dynafit Tech insert to hike up. This is for maybe the smaller hikes, but I still want to charge down. So this is my really go-to boot down in the Alps and stuff like that, when you don't have big hikes all the time. So I used the Lupo for the long hikes and this for the short hikes and maybe when I want to put the life on the line and shred really hard.